Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Byers, your instructor for NE150. This is Module 1, and I'm looking at the grading rubric and taking you through how you're going to turn your uh, files in to me. Okay. First of all, um, you're going to be turning all of these in at the same time. The way Canvas works is that you can only upload one zip file. Okay, so that means that you're going to turn in your rocket ship materials and your sci-fi crate materials, okay, at the same time. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so if I scroll down to turn in instructions, I have uh, I've, had, I've changed these and simplified these a little bit, but for you today. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that for you. So these are the, the deliverables. So we've got the rocket ship. The student will turn in a completed model textured rocket ship as a Maya MB file format. Okay, that is basically the default Maya file. Um, the format that Maya uses is the MB file. It also uses .ma. We'll get more into file formats later, but right now, just just concentrate on this. You will also turn in a two perspective front and back screenshots of the rocket ship with textures on. Okay? Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay? So, let's go scroll down though, and I always like to tell the students to go ahead and create your files, okay? So your full first name, full last name, Annie150 underscore MOD, which is module, underscore 01, which is module 1. So your first let first name, last name, underscore Annie one fifty underscore mod underscore zero one. Okay? You create a subfolder called scenes. Okay. And you call you'll create a subfolder called screenshots. Okay? Alright, let's do that. So here's your folder, your main folder. Of course my name is Jeff underscore buyers underscore Annie all in caps 150 underscore mod underscore zero one. There's my main folder. Created that. You can right click over to create your folders. If you don't know how to do that, right click over new folder. I'm on my desktop. Okay. So I can right click, go to new folder. When you do that, you can rename it. If you mess up, you can right click over it and go to rename and rename it. Okay? All right, so just in case you don't know how to do that, I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so there's our first folder. That's our main folder. Our second folder, our subfolder, okay, we'll create a new folder called scenes. So just go in there and create a folder, call it scenes. And then you create another folder called screenshots. Okay? All right, so your folder system is going to be like this all through each module. That's exactly how I want you to do it. I'm going to need uh, I'm going to need your scene file, which is your MB file, and I'm going to need your screenshots. Okay. If I need textures, I'm going to probably have you uh, create a new folder called Source Images. Okay. So you'll put your your rocket ship MB file in here and your sci-fi crate MB file in here. Okay. We'll take you through that. And all your screenshots will go into the screenshots folder. Okay, great. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Maya. Here's my rocket ship. Okay, so I need screenshots. So I am going to go down next to the Windows Start menu. I'm gonna right I'm gonna click on here and just hit S. S for snipping tool. Just hit the S key and it should come up. If you got to spell it out, it's S N I P P I N G T O O L, and should come up. I'm on Windows 10. If you have anything other than Windows 10, you may not see this snipping tool. So in that case, you'll have to do something else. I'm not sure what, but you can try to hit the the print screen next to F12 on the top of the keyboard, print screen. And you'll have to then go in there and copy. Print screen will capture it. OK. 
okay print screen or capture it and the only way other way I know how to do it is to go into Photoshop and open up a new file and then do a control V I, I suppose you could probably do that in GIMP too so so I need a screenshot or you can do a render of this okay it doesn't matter to me if you got everything set up then you, sh you should be able to do a quick render for me if you want to All right so the screenshot will be like this so I hit the S key S is in Sam snipping tool and this will come up like this go next to mode go to uh, rectangular snip and I'm just wanting you to take a screenshot of this okay like that perfect then I want you to go to file save as I want it to be JPEG and I want you to put your first name and your first initial last name okay it's going to be underscore um, let's see any 150 mod 01 and let's just do front space uh, rocket something like that alright so I'm gonna just kinda highlight that and do a control C so I don't have to type that in every single time so now I'm gonna go into uh, save I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna make sure it goes to the desktop okay and save it alright cool and we're done with this so go ahead and close that and now we're gonna rotate around the back like that I want to do a screenshot there so we'll open up the snipping tool again hit the S key in the search bar next to your windows icon go to snipping tool and rectangle snip and we'll go ahead and do a screenshot of this okay and so now I can go into file save as and I can go in here and find the first one I did here's the first one if I click on it jbars9150 module 1 front rocket let's do just kind of click on this and type in back back rocket and click make sure you're saving it to your desktop click on save there we go Want to do that just click off and go file save scene as I'm going to go into the option box make sure it's Maya binary save scene as and you can save this to your desktop if you'd like so I need you to put your first name your first initial last name underscore rocket so that's what I need okay and save is going to go to the desktop and save that's it you're done with the rocket you got your MB file you got your two screenshots All right so so now we're gonna I'm gonna open up the um, I want you to open up the sci-fi crate when you get that finished you'll you'll have that open and I'll, t I'll take you through how to save everything for that okay we're back and um, taking you through how what I need for your snapshots and how to save your work alright so we need these side by side so if we look at what I had for instructions um, right here so we need a we need to place the completed model texture rocket ship as an MB file which we did that please place the high poly detailed low poly crate that are side by side in a scene file as an FMB FBX and OBJ now the reason why I want so many in here different types is I want to show you how to save those different types and talk about that a little bit so the MB file is a Maya native file that works really well with Maya and the FBX works really good with game engines and other uh, software packages that's universal okay OBJ is a universal file format for models so that's why OBJ's work really well with ZBrush 
and they work really well uh, with mud box and they work really well with substance painter so these three I need you guys to send me okay because I want you to get used to saving these different types of file formats okay all right so let's let's go ahead and do that okay now I've just loaded up my sci-fi crate and we are ready to rock and roll with getting everything turned in for this so you could do uh, a side-by-side -side screenshot um, if you want to so what we can do is select everything now if you don't see um, your channel editor when you select an object um, don't worry because if you if you don't have the object selected it you'll see nothing in the channel box so if I click on that now you can see that turns on you have to activate something for the channel box to show up the layer editor should always be open now if you don't see it if it looks like something like this or looks something like this this is what's called the attribute editor okay so you'll have to hold down the control key and the A tap the A uh, key to get that to cycle back and forth okay that's like hot key to cycle back and forth between the attribute editor and the channel box and the layer editor okay control A alright so we want to be in the layer editor because I want to be able to show everything okay so I'm gonna select everything I'm gonna move it over now if you move it over and things start flying all over the place you need to select the object you need to go to poly modeling the shelf click on delete by type history and freeze transformations and you can try moving it again there we go and now I'm going to turn on the high poly crate and move that one over like that okay so now we've got both the high poly and low poly crate in the scene and I want to get a nice angle of this okay here we go so the next thing I want to do is I want to take a snapshot of this scene so I can see that I've got my handles done okay so I want to see a little bit of the top view of this whenever I say I want a perspective that means I can see the top the front and the side of the object okay alright so you got everything modeled everything looks good everything's in your scene so we're going to go to snippet so we're going to hit the S key as in Sam click on snippet tool and we're going to go to okay now what, before I do that I've got to get this positioned out of the way okay and let's do this let's do this let's bring this way up here like this here we go I'm going to go to rectangular snip and I'm going to make a rectangular snip right here still going to be in the way yeah it's not going to work no 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 okay let's try it again try that again okay I don't know if I can get that out of the way enough there we go I think that'll work okay there we go and we'll go ahead and do a snip just kind of marquee select don't care if you I don't care if you get a little bit of this in there and so there it is there's a good screenshot perspective front and we're going to go ahead and save as and save it to your desktop and we're going to name this the same as we did the other one except this time we're going to put uh, crate this is going to be the front of the crate okay that's all I have to do you can retype that if you want to and save it there we go so we're done with the front screenshot and now we're gonna rotate around to the back screenshot and my looks like my these guys didn't move up so let me get those positions right there we go move this one over here There we go. Just 
Let's move those up a little bit so they look good. Okay, great. All right, so now we're going to do a perspective of the back. Okay, so I'm going to do snipping tool. There we go. Do the same thing. Rectangular snip and go ahead and marquee select the whole box. All right, and make sure you get both boxes in your scene. And file, save as. And we'll do, this is going to be the back crate. So you should have four. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, the wireframe, um, if you're wondering how I did that, um, it's just, I just have this on. Okay, I just have this on. And I, I do want wireframe on shaded on, on these, okay? If you just give me this, um, it's really hard, it's really difficult to know which one is which. I know basically this one is the low poly, but it, they're really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell the difference between the two. So please uh, put wireframe on before you do the snippet tool. So that's how you do it. You just click on that icon right here. Okay. All right, so now we need to go into Mudbox and get uh, your detail from that. So you need to have, when, once you get all your detail completed, I want to get a front screenshot and a back perspective screenshot of this model. Okay. So, so to do that, um, you need to, and I would highly recommend that once you, you're done sculpting everything, that you uh, save your file, save scene as, and, and save it to your desktop. That's like what I did when I finished it. That way I can, if I make a mistake, and oh my gosh, I forgot to do screenshots, and I don't, and I don't know how to, I don't want to sculpt it again. Um, that would be a pain. So save your scene file, and um, and you can open it up anytime you want. Just put it on your desktop, it's easy. Um, so now we need to select the object. So go into selection mode. Um, and just right click over it and go to select model. So right click over it and go to select model. Okay, it'll turn yellow. Okay, so I need, uh, <clears throat> I don't need the model, but you're going to need the model to be exported, right? And I think it's in the video, okay? But I just want to tell you again how to export it. So it's going to be a huge file. I don't want this this particular file, okay? I do not need this particular file. Like, you know, um, this is going to be really big. So we're going to... Uh, basically export selection you're gonna need this for when we go into uh, substance painter though okay so call this um, your first last name high poly detailed and put that on your desktop okay that's a big it's gonna be a big file it may take a while to save out okay and save it as an OBJ okay OBJ Go ahead and save that. I already saved mine, so save that out. And I want you to click off and um, anywhere you just click in the gray area. And I want you to snip. I want you to go ahead and do screenshots. So I'm going to pull this down just a little bit, okay? So we can get a bigger view. And hit the S key, snipping tool. Do the same thing. Go into rectang rectangular snip and you're going to save a screenshot of this there we go file save scene as or save as and we're just going to hit one of these guys and this will be the front uh, and we're just going to call this mud box okay just like that so your first initial last name any 150 module 1 front mud box save make sure it's going to your desktop 
and then we're going to rotate it around the back of the box and it may look the same, that's okay. And we'll do another screenshot. Hit the S key, snip, snipping tool, mode, rectangular, and let's go ahead and do a screenshot of that. Okay. File, save as, and we're going to go in here and find our mud box and we're just going to retype in back. Okay, there we go. And save. All right, cool. So we should have uh, six screenshots now. Okay, we're going to go back to the crates, okay? And we're going to save this scene in the file formats that I needed. Okay, so I'm going to go file and we're going to do save scene as okay and in here it's already got I already got it set to MB file so I want you to type in jbars underscore module zero one and just type in fin finished and save okay now, <clears throat> usually go ahead and save into your your uh, scene file, um, but if you want to keep everything together on your desktop so you can put them in the folders, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, desktop, and I would highly recommend though, once you save it to the desktop, go ahead and save it back into that directory so you can keep it for safekeeping. Um, so I'm going to go ahead in here and save it, there you go. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do a save as, and um, let's go in here and see what other options we have. We have my ASCII, so when you are saving your scene, um, you need to go and select, let's go to uh, File, um, Export All, okay, so we're going to export all. Now the thing is, if you export all of it, um, you're going to export everything you have in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select what's showing, okay? Select what's showing in here. I'm just marquee selecting everything, right? There you go. And file, export selection, okay? Now I've already got it set up to OBJ, okay? Now, um, if you don't see something in here, I'll show you how to double check that, but go to OBJ export. Everything's on there. Export selection. And um, we're going to go to the desktop. And you're going to call it your first name, your uh, last name. And we're going to do module 01. And we're going to do crate. And this is going to be uh, FIN finished. So this is your o OBJ export. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and do a control C so I don't have to retype in for FBX. And so that's the OBJ. Go ahead and export to your desktop and export. Okay, great. We're going to do one more. So file export selection. And this one is going to be FBX. So we're looking, so just kind of scroll until you find it. And there it is right under OBJ. Now if you don't see FBX or OBJ, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Let me finish this up. So um, everything looks okay. So go ahead and, and just type in uh, what you want to call it. Control V. So I already, you know, typed it in. And I'm, now I'm going to just rename it like what I have here. You name your first name, <clears throat> first initial, last, uh, last name, and then module one, create, finished, and export it. All right, that's it. Now, if you don't see those, when you go file, export selection, if you don't see those, then you'll need to go into Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager, and make sure that it is highlighted or checkmarked in here. So 
load auto load and scroll down and you should be able to hit it and uh, load auto load there we go and I just kinda load auto load everything there you go and a refresh and then close it and then try it again and then you should be able to see those file export selection and you should you should be able to see all of them in there obj and fbx okay great you should have everything completely finished now all right great now we're ready to put everything in the folders all right so here's our crate uh, our mb file so we go we drag and drop that into the scenes folder here is our rocket. We drag and drop that into the scenes folder. We have our um, OBJ. So you get an OBJ and an uh, MTL. Go ahead and highlight those. Okay, so this is your OBJ and that's your MTL. I don't know what it's going to look like, but drop that into the scenes folder. There we go. And then we have our FBX. Let's drag and drop that into the scenes folder. Okay, so what's in the scenes folder? Well, we have one, basically one, two, three, four. So we've got, and if we look at this, we have the crate FBX, we have the crate OBJ, it's called 3D object, we have the uh, crate uh, my MB file. I, I didn't put crate on here. I can re I can kind of rename that. Let's call that crate. There we go. That way we can keep 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 it all the same. And then we have an MB file the the rocket. So here are my three files: one, two, three. Now you're probably wondering what that MTL file means. What that means is that that the crate. Um, OBJ attaches itself to a material file um, and basically you need to have that with it. Um, I can open it, I can open the OBJ without the MTL but it'll give me an error. So just make sure you have that with you. If you can't find it, it's missing, that's okay. Just give me that. So that's what this, this all this should look like. Okay. And if you're not sure how to view things um, with Windows uh, 10, um, you can go up to the top view when you open your folder up, go to view, and you can tell if you want to see extra large icons or details, um, how you want to sort it by name, date, modify, type. Uh, you know, so I usually go by name. Uh, it's alphabetical and and so that's what's in your folder okay that's what's in your scenes folder so the rest of the stuff in here I've got my rocket and my other screenshots I'm gonna marquee select those and place those into my screenshots folder so in my screenshots folder you should see these and if I go to my view and if I go to my extra large detail you can see I've got six images here. Okay. Uh, let's just start from the rocket ship. We've got the front of the rocket ship and the back of the rocket ship screenshots. I've got the mud box front and back mud box screenshots. I've got the front and back uh, high poly and low poly screenshots in Maya. So those are all the screenshots that I need. Okay. That's everything I need. And then what I do is I take those two. I drag and drop those into the large folder. So now those are subfolders. So I got scenes and screenshots. And here's my main folder. I right click over my main folder and I go to send to compressed zipped folder. Again, right click over your main folder, go to send to compressed zip folder. When you do that, it gives you a beautiful little zip folder. Okay, I would highly recommend you take both of those pieces and you put them on your hard drive and for safekeeping. Okay, 
So you've got your basically your first module all completed. You've got it zipped up. Now all you have to do is go into uh, your folder structure. I think if you go outside here and if I go into home and if I go into student view okay if I go into my assignments if I go into my introduction to the there's this submit assignment so I can go in there I can sit choose your file and submit assignment so choose file um, go into your desktop you should see it where did I put it there it is right there there's my file you can open it and when it opens and then you submit it that is it and uh, you should be good to go and I want to go back these student view. There we go. So now you know how to submit your stuff. All right. I wish you the best of luck. Again, don't forget about posting. That is due tonight. And then your quiz starts on Friday and you have until Sunday. So anyway, fantastic work, guys. Keep up the great work.